Sometimes it's weird to realize that your friends are just in school and you know, I have to learn for exams and that kind of stuff and I'm just touring the world. When I was in school it was really tough. to. I played tours with my band and I took time off to go to the studio. But it was really hard to get the time off. I said I'll take a year off and see how it goes and it's going great. So I think I'll take another year off and hopefully another and another and another. I'm DJing for three years. I'm producing for two and a half, maybe three now. So I feel like I just started. As soon as I finished school I basically really started producing electronic music every day. Like I woke up and that's what I did. And that's when everything started. I don't think there are words you can describe like what happens on, on stage here. The Guild was one of the biggest festivals worldwide, one of the leading events. People jumping, ringing. Everyone is here, all the DJs are here, you're hanging out. I don't know, it's like people will do anything to get to be on this festival. Uh, crazy. Madness. It's so magic here, there's no vibe like this. A lot of people here are older than I am. I just gained 23, so I really feel young, like you know, like the new kid on the block. I don't want to be the one saying I'm the next generation or we're the next generation, but uh, hearing other people saying that, I mean, it makes me proud, right? Yeah, it's good to be a part of the whole new EDM scene that's blowing up so big right now. It's impressive and surprising that there are so many young musicians who are succeeding. But in the other way, it's also sort of unsurprising because the barriers to entry are so low compared to what they were 20 years ago when you needed a full studio and you needed all this expensive analog equipment. Now all you need is a laptop and some torn software and you can get started. Yeah, I just started like, on my bedroom just making music and people liked it. And I started playing on parties with my own music and look where we're at right now. absolutely everything but not part of a DJ culture and I was never really into electronic music. You know, I'd never seen a DJ, I'd never seen a DJ set, I didn't have any DJ equipment. Um, I was just writing the music and listening to the music and promoters started hitting me up and uh, they're like, hey, I'm a promoter and I want to work with you. I was like, so you want to promote my music and you want to <laughs> hand out flyers? They wanted me to play shows and I'd never seen a DJ so it actually ended up happening that the first show I played the only time I'd ever seen a DJ before that was the day before. I was like, I need to go see a DJ before I try to do this. Similar thing happened with me, and the first show I played, I played with the mouse. So I DJed with the mouse. <laughs> me, too. <laughs> me too. I didn't have a controller, I had no idea what's going on, so I just had tractor, a laptop, and I was yeah, DJing. Yeah, rocking out on the laptop, it's always a good look. Last year I tried to find like all DJs and introduce myself and play the small venues everywhere and this year it's the opposite. Like you play like all bigger stuff and everybody comes up to you so as soon as you put out like more records, successful records, that you get it back directly, you know, in, in crowd and stages and people and everything.
when I came to Ultra last year, uh, it was actually one of the first like DJ events I'd ever been to. And uh, after I stepped out of the Heineken Dome, I saw Fed Legrand on the main stage. And just seeing all these people going crazy, this very percussive, very techy music. It was one of the most magical moments I've, I've ever had, and it was so inspirational. And I, I resolved at that moment, I was like, I'm gonna play like a good stage next year on Ultra, this needs to happen. Now, one year later, I can see the how much I have achieved by playing the main stage. For me, it's, I never played main stage, so I'm really excited about it. I mean, when you're younger, you only see yourself on the stage, and that's the most important thing. And once you get on that stage, you have to look you know, to the next step. Where's your career going? Um, north. For the future I have, I want to like keep evaluating and keep improving my sound. And I don't want to catch only the EDM people. I want to touch everyone, the grandma. I want to touch the people who just listen to the radio. And uh, I believe that with electronic dance music, you can touch everyone if you do it right. I think there's like lots, lots, lots to achieve, so. I hope this is only the beginning because I want to play, be a DJ for the next 20 years. Yes.